four o'clock in the morning. Everyone is asleep. The house is silent. The street is silent. It's only then when I start to notice the little things in my house. The mug I use nearly every day when I'm home, given to me by a long-time friend, a reminder of how loyal people can be. A glass jar full of acorns and some other sort of nut. I've never wondered why it's there, but the pattern it creates is something quite amazing. A half seen for Norus comes around once a year and our dining room lights up with a feeling of being back home. It has been a week since it's been there, so the Sabbath is overgrown and the candles are burnt out, but a constant reminder of how beautiful our new year is. This is Somok, a symbol of patience in the half scene. I haven't the slightest idea as to what it is in English, but I know it's wonderful with rice. A little fish. Oh, he hasn't a name yet. Tharadin? A record player. It looks old, but it plays some radio, tapes and CDs, as well as other records. Granted, the CD player isn't working, we don't have many records, but it's wonderful to hear it playing. The sound almost takes you back in time, whatever it's playing. Tapestry of an old man drinking tea, with a taspi in his hand. Another of traditional Iranian things. The next to an old man weaving a basket. This one's a painting. How delicately every feature is painted. The last one, a woven woman, eerily a lookalike of my aunt. The endless Persian rugs. Imagine how long it would take to hand make these. Each and every pattern, each and every swirl, all accumulating into one beautiful woven masterpiece. Flowers, flowers, slightly dying flowers, flowers. Flowers. This little box to hold things. I have no idea where it came from. And who doesn't want statuettes of magical beings guarding their television set? Just little things like these. Things that you pass by and never notice until you have nothing left to do. Things you do not realise that are a part of your life and that symbolise who you are and where you're from. Especially in my case. Lie back. Take it all in.